Hey, how you doing? I am super excited today because I am starting to prepare for my very first course. So about 14 years ago, I, I downloaded a program that was free at the time and is still free today with a certain caveat. This program was something new to me. I had before been modeling in three dimensions and building things, um, you know, in, in model form for a long time. And in college, we were introduced to AutoCAD, but I also went to a college where drawing by hand was, was promoted and um, highly encouraged. So I think since then, I feel like a lot of architecture programs have steered more towards the um, computer-aided design and drafting and drawing in the computer. Whereas when I graduated, I had kind of a blend of this hand-drawn and being aided with the computer and then taking some of those concepts and those designs a little bit further and modeling them in three dimensions. And what that did was it allowed me to quickly explore ideas by hand and then take those ideas to a level that allows me to communicate them to other people that might not have the ability to pick up on the nuances of space drawn in two dimensions. So if you, you know, go into architecture school, you kind of learn how to visualize spaces and sizes and scales but not everybody has that understanding. And when you're trying to communicate that to other people, it can be difficult. So what 3D modeling did for me was it allowed me to go from conceptual two-dimensional drawings, take those into three-dimensional drawings, which my clients and friends and relatives, whoever is looking at these, these images could put themselves in that place. We're used to seeing photographs and we're used to seeing video of our world. And when we see that, we can actually relate those three, di three dimensions to the spaces that we have experienced. And it's much more difficult to do that when you look at a two-dimensional um, or even a hand-drawn perspective drawing. So what this program did for me about 14 years ago was it took something that was difficult like modeling in AutoCAD in 3, 3D Studio Max, which I was doing at the time, very time consuming. And it took that modeling and converted it to something that was more fluid and a lot more flexible and quick, fast, able to produce things that normally would have taken weeks and can now produce them in a day or a day and a half. So this program, I'm sure you've heard of it, is SketchUp. And it was free for a long, long time. It's gone through many iterations. We're at 2018 now. I downloaded my first SketchUp version when it was version 4. And that was in, I think, um, I think it was in 2004 or 2005. So I've been using it for a while now, um, like I said, probably 14 years. And with each new version, I've upgraded and, um, and kind of progressed with the program. So today the program is still fundamentally similar to what it originally was, this quick push and pull and um, ability to create your concept in three dimensions quickly. It's, it's, it's still has that, but it's actually advanced into something a little bit more, um, more interesting. It has a lot more features and a lot more, uh, plugins and a lot more things that other programs that can enhance your SketchUp model. So what I want to do is I want to take the knowledge that I've learned over the 14 years of 3d modeling and communicating my ideas to clients. And I want to create a course that takes architects, designers from your sketch ideas all the way through modeling 
and then to creating presentations that wow and communicate your ideas effectively to your clients so that you are able to communicate effectively, allow them to get excited about the project and understand the, the transformation that their, their space is gonna, gonna have and how that transformation is then going to affect their daily life as they use the space. And communicating our, idea, I, our ideas to our clients and allowing them to get excited and experience these spaces before they're fully designed really, really cuts down on complications. It, it builds trust with your clients and allows you to progress further and make more um, refined design decisions on these spaces that you're creating so that you're able to further and enhance the project and create even more meaningful spaces for your clients instead of getting bogged down with going back to the drawing board, going back to the drawing board, and then finally settling on something that the client might not fully understand. Um, this way, what you can do is you can be a designer, design your design what you feel, answers this the the problems create solutions for your clients you can create those um, concepts and ideas quickly and put them in front of your clients and allow them to experience the story that you're trying to, to convey to them um, through beautiful graphics and uh, virtual reality i'd like to get into some of that with the with the with the um, course so we're going to cover all this stuff and I just am so excited. I don't really want to hold it all in until I've created all this. I want to start talking about it as I'm building the course. It's going to take me a while, but I do actually hope to get this thing launched early uh, 2019. So if you are interested in um, learning more about it and kind of going along the process with me as I, as I create the course and, um, as I start to outline the course and really hone in on what it is that you need help with when it comes to communicating your ideas, I would love it if you would go over to, I will create this page, it's not there yet, but if you go to, by the time you hear this, it will be, if you go to uh, whitewashstudio.com slash sketchup course, um, and Give me your feedback. What is it that you're struggling with when it comes to creating ideas and communicating those ideas effectively to your clients? What what do you see as three as you know that these tools that we have available? How do you see those being able to help you? And if you are currently struggling your way through using these tools, then let me know what problems you're running into. Um, what struggles, complications you're having doing certain things with the program because I've been using it for a really long time and I've pinned down what is possible and what is more challenging and then finding ways to um, create really fast solutions to complex problems inside of SketchUp and some of these other programs. So I would uh, love to hear what you're struggling with so then I can can create a course that answers the problems and the struggles that you're having um, with your design practice. Because I want to make, I want this course to be something that can make you more effective. It can increase your skill level and allow you to create a better product for your clients and customers so that you can uh, enrich their lives and um, bring more value to our built environment. So, the better that we're able to communicate our ideas to our clients, the better off that um, the world will be. So I know it sounds huge and overarching, but I do believe that our built environment has a tremendous impact on our lives and that families um, discover life in the home and they grow together um, in the home and they, they, they live majority of their life in the home. So, if we're, you know, speaking about designing homes for our clients, the more that we can 
design and communicate those ideas that they're trying to, uh, you know, solutions to the problems that they're having in their home, the better off their life is going to be. And um, it just makes our built environment a much better place in general. So um, I know I've kind of rambled on a little bit, but I'm super excited about the course. And so once again, go to whitewashstudio.com slash sketchup course. And there should be a page there where you can enter in um, your biggest struggle. And also on there, join the uh, list to be notified when the course is available. And also I will uh, put you on the list so that we can um, roll out some of these ideas as we start to create the course. I will uh, keep you updated and give you some helpful tips along the way, things like that. So I look forward to kind of going on this adventure. I know that uh, it's going to be a long one and it should be full of surprises because I'm creating my first course. So I, um, I'm i sure that we will be uh, kind of experiencing this thing together. So I appreciate your support and I look forward to, you know, really enhancing your um, abilities with communicating your design ideas to to your clients. So Thanks for listening and watching, and I will uh, talk to you soon.